Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Empowerment with Elizabeth. Today I am here with my sweet new friend, Connor, and she is going to talk to us about being a state title holder and her prep for Miss USA. So Connor, tell us a little bit about yourself. Yes. Well, thanks for having me on. <laughs> this is so much fun. Um, I'm Connor Perry. I am a Lexingtonian born and raised. I'm from Kentucky <laughs> and I am Miss Kentucky USA 2024, which is still crazy. It sounds crazy to say that. Um, the pageant was just a few weeks ago, but yeah, I went to a performing arts high school. I've danced my whole life. So that was my, um, quote unquote major there. I was a ballet major. Um, and then I went to UK and I majored in neuroscience and I got a minor in dance and I was pre-med. Um, and yeah, ever since college, I postponed med school because now I'm thinking more anesthesiologist assisting but currently I work as a ballet instructor acro instructor sub contemporary instructor and basically just whatever they need me to do at um, I think four different studios across like Lexington and surrounding counties and I also dance professionally yeah. oh my gosh you do it all that's crazy <laughs> Thanks. I want to hear about your pageant journey. So talk to us about, you know, yes. when you started, how you started yes. and how it got you to where you are now. Right. So I am very new to pageant land. I'm brand new. <laughs> um, this was my first pageant, which is really crazy to think about. And I don't know. I had always seen people that I knew competing in pageants and grew up with, you know, just mutual people being in the pageant industry. And anytime I looked at women in pageantry, I was so fascinated. And because it's it's similar in a way to dance, the industries are, they have a lot of similarities. And so there were things that I could relate to, but there were also so many things that I found out of reach, mm -hmm. which primarily was just the way these women were not only so incredibly beautiful, but they were so smart and they were so transformative in their communities and the way that I would see them answer these onstage questions and with so much poise and eloquence and they're so articulate and I was like that could never ever be me <laughs> I was like that's so out of reach like that seems like my worst nightmare but kudos to them they are amazing I thought pageant the women in pageantry were just the most incredible people and they are um, and so when the opportunity came to enter a pageant, which I had friends that had competed in USA specifically, which is why I did USA, gotcha. um, just because, you know, I had people that I could lean on and ask questions. No and, yeah. 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 Things like that. Um, and so when the opportunity came, cause as I've gotten older, I've been like, okay, like I want to be that I've strived to be a woman who is poised, who is eloquent, who is articulate, transformative in my community. That's my goal. Like that, that's the legacy I want to leave. So um, I was like, you know, you don't get good at something by not doing it. You don't become that person by not putting yourself in spaces to grow and thrive in those areas. So I was like, you know what, maybe I will enter a pageant. And I entered this Kentucky USA, um, which um, you enter at large. And so they, you have your local title and um, yeah, so I, I got accepted to get the local title and I was like, this is crazy. Uh, I didn't do much at that point and I still thought it was crazy. Um, and yeah, and then it just kind of was rolling from there. I love it. I love it. And you're obviously, you know, talked about being your brand new, but I want to know what your favorite phase of competition is so far. I'm a pageant girl too. So this is like my favorite question. Yes. Know the answer, but tell us what your favorite phase is and a little bit about why that phase is your favorite. Yes. So in USA, there's no talent. Mm -hmm. So obviously that would probably be my favorite if there were talent because I love to dance and I always am wanting to dance, but I'd say my favorite phase is evening gown. And of course, it's an onstage portion, which I love. Again, I'm a performer. I love to be on stage. I love to put on a show. That is my thing. That is where I feel most comfortable and most excited. So to me, any onstage portion is fun other than onstage question. <laughs> uh, and so, yeah, evening gown as opposed to swim 
because I think that evening gown is a little bit more intimate Mm -hmm. and at least in USA, like you're walking slower, the Mm -hmm. pattern's a lot like more simple. Um, and so you just have such a better time. It's like, this is like your one time where you really are just on there to connect Mm -hmm. with the audience and with the judges and that it feels really peaceful. Like you, I kind of just felt really at peace, but I was also having so much fun. You feel so beautiful up there. And it's like almost impossible to not feel confident when it's just you up there on the stage. Everyone's looking at you. Everyone's cheering. Everyone's looking to connect with you as well. It's really special. I love, I love eating now. I love that. I love that. Yeah. And I'm interested to hear, this one's kind of a, a tough question. So you can take a second to think about it if you need to, but I'm interested to hear why you think the judges selected you specifically to represent the state. Um, <laughs> the tough one, I know. <laughs> it is a tough one. I mean, going into the pageant, I had to keep reminding myself that it's who you are. Mm-hmm. It is not what you are and it's not what you've done and what you have. And I think that I found this out afterwards, of course, but apparently (laughs) they really liked me in my interview, which was unbeknownst to me because of course I walked out of interview being like, oh my God, oh my God, they hate me so much. Like, I was like, I completely messed that up. But, um, you know, it's just, I think I was able to connect with them Mm -hmm. and which is hard to do because you get, I don't know about any other system but you get a very short amount of time to connect with those judges and to answer the questions that they ask you and I think I was lucky because the questions that they asked me allowed me to really be able to connect with them and um you know show them like the my favorite and best parts of myself and I think that worked in my favor because I guess they liked me (laughs) and I don't know because it really it's hard in this environment it's really hard to not compare to what other people have done people have started their own nonprofits, and I work for nonprofits, but I didn't start them you know it's like people have written books and people do all these incredible things because they are incredible women Mm -hmm. but you can't compare yourself to what other people have done because it's really not at the end of the day it doesn't boil down to what you've done it's who you are Mm -hmm. and so I guess they liked me (laughs) I guess <laughs> that's I guess that's why <laughs> they were like okay she can she can represent the state I guess <laughs> I but I'm it. very grateful I'm, yeah. I'm really grateful for it because I'm excited about it and just these first few weeks in the position have been the most incredible weeks and I'm just I like can't imagine how this year is going to turn out if just these first few weeks have been this good so yeah mm-hmm. I'm feeling really lucky and grateful yeah. Mm-hmm. And obviously, you know, next step is nationals. So I'm interested yeah. <laughs> to hear about how you're prepping, what you're focusing yeah. on with your prep. Right. So obviously interview is not, well, I mean, I say it's not my strong suit, but of course it's just talking. I feel like it probably is. <sighs> you just don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I get like, I get so nervous and I get so in my head. So um, prep wise, I am one of those people who in dance needs to be over rehearsed. Mm -hmm. And so, and obviously you don't want to be rehearsed for interview, but preparation is key for me personally. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to prep, 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 practice speaking. Things like this are so good for me, like coming on podcasts and like just doing interviews, just getting used to talking and, you know, hitting the points that you're asking me and, you know, because I'm someone who talks in circles, (laughs) if you can't tell. (laughs) So you know, just being concise and being, you know, articulate. Um, I need to work on that. And then basically everything that I did to prep for state just elevated, you know, because that's really what nationals is. It's just higher stakes. It's harder competition. It's the best of the best. And, you know, I want to put out my best foot forward. And so every thing I prepped, my walk interview, my wardrobe, um, all the things, just everything on an elevated level. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. In our final question, if you give one piece of advice to a girl competing next year mm-hmm. at Kentucky USA, what would it be? Yeah, I'd say just you have as good of a chance as anybody else, clearly. Like, doesn't matter how many years you've competed, doesn't matter, again, what you do or what you have. 
you should just go in there and give yourself the very best shot and don't worry about all the noise block out all the noise because that's what's ultimately going to have you questioning yourself and have you not putting your best foot forward because they just want to get to know you and they just want to see you and see you thrive everybody there wants to see you thrive Mm -hmm. so just go and give it your best I love that I love that well thank you so much Connor for coming on and talking about you you know your title um your background all the things yeah well thank you so much for having me it's been so fun of course (laughs) course. and I will see the rest of you guys on our next episode bye (laughs) y'all